welcome back to my channel guys and thank you for joining me on another episode of prime math zoom today we will be focusing on finding the parameter of irregular polygons let's dive right in what is an irregular polygon think about it right because last lesson we would have done regular polygons and we know that regular polygons are those polygons where all the sides are the same in length so in an irregular polygon we know all the sides are not equal just like these below right now, do you remember how to find the parameter? Yes, we just find the sum or the total of all the sides. Now, here we have a figure. We have a shape. Let's count how many sides. One, two, three, four, five. We have a five-sided figure. So in order to find the parameter of a figure like this, we need to be adding five lengths so we'll be adding 12 centimeters plus six centimeters plus six centimeters plus another 12 centimeters plus eight centimeters and that would give us the total which is 44 centimeters and that represents the parameter let us go ahead and try to think of an applicable way that we can use parameter in real life. Now, here's one. Every evening, William rides his bicycle along the path below. How many meters will he ride each time? Now, the first thing we have to do is we have to remember that to find parameter, we must be adding up all the sides. And if we're finding the distance along this path, we would be finding the parameter. So let us think about it now and count. How many sides does this figure have? One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that means we should be adding six lengths. Here goes. Parameter would be equal to nine meters plus 12 meters plus 13 meters, plus nine meters, plus eight meters, plus 14 meters. And that would give us a sum of 65 meters. Right, this sum here will tell us how many meters William will ride each time. Now, as usual, your turn. We would have done parameter in our previous lessons. And so for this lesson, we are just going to have you focusing on how to find parameter of irregular shapes. Now here below, we have an irregular shape. You would have realized that there are some strokes though on some of the lines. What you should understand is that if one side has three strokes, like the one measuring 120 centimeters, it means that any other side with three strokes on it will also measure 120 centimeters. So let's think about it. The sides with one stroke measures 40 centimeter. The sides with two strokes measure 90 centimeters. Can we now find the, poly the parameter of this shape? Yes, I know, this one is a little bit difficult, but it's still your turn. So here, we would find the parameter by adding all the lengths here. First, we start with 120 centimeter. And moving over to the right, we have 40 centimeters, then another 40 centimeters, then 90 centimeters, then another 40 centimeters, pay attention to the number of strokes, another 40 centimeters, then three strokes mean 120 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 40 centimeters again, then 90 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and finally another 40. When we added all of these, we would get a total of 700 
40 centimeter, and that would represent the perimeter. Thank you guys for joining us. See you next time. Please like and subscribe.